Let's talk about frost resistance for a minute. There's a couple of different ways to tackle this. Number one, there's what's readily available right now, and then there's what's going to be available in phase six. Now, for all intents and purposes, the best frost resistance gear that we have available to us right now is most likely not going to carry over into phase six because, or at least what I mean by that is, the entirety of phase six. There might be one or two pieces, like for example, our T2 helm might actually last us a while, but all these other pieces, you're more or less gonna wanna get replaced ASAP, which coincidentally, you get great FR gear or FRR gear from things like professions and also Nax drops. So without any further ado, let's just break this down. I've got a link down below uh, for both the Discord and the Twitch channel, so be sure to check those out, twitch.tv slash saltyzera, and join the True Shot Brigade Discord today. I've got a link also down there for the classic Wowhead armor filter. This is going to be filtered by frost resistance, added in content phase, phase five or previous, and it also includes cloth, leather, and mail. You can adjust this however you want for your needs. I think it's important to note that this is the best thing for us currently. You can't find any other frost resistance gear besides these. There might also, however, be a couple of, you know, various knickknacks. There might be some, like for example, the helmet out of Darmal East, for example. You can get a frost resistance helm from that chap there in, in Darmal East while you're doing some jump runs. Uh, feel free to do that. That's probably what I'll end up doing, but we don't really need it if you if you want the extra frost resistance, you can go ahead and do that. But personally, I think most hunters, including myself, is probably just going to stick with T2, the helmet. But for all intents and purposes, this is not the end-all be-all, but this is going to knock out 95% of the frost resistance gear that is readily available to you right now. Beyond the, you know, random like 0.03% drop chance because it's going to roll as a chance to roll that way if the item happens to drop. Like if you get this item to drop, it can be of arcane or of nature, or of frost. So there's going to be ways to get around it. The gif helm out of Ubers is another fine example. So there are other ways to get pieces, but for the most part, this is where you're going to want to go back to the fountain and find your answers. So we've got this filtered. We're going to look at Dragon, Dragon Stalker helmet, clear winner here. It's a great piece. Moving on down, you've got your Dragon Spur wraps and you've got other pieces from Adragos and you've also got something here from Moam from AQ20. The Dragon Spur Ramps drops off of the four dragons, I believe. It's a just a random drop from one of them. And of course, the leggings of Arcane Supremacy, which is going to be cloth, you know, priority. That's going to be dropping also off of Azure Ghost. And then you've got this, which is a fine piece for frost resistance or basically any kind of resistance for us as hunters with Agi and Stam. But I hate AQ20. I can't stand it. And I hate to really go just skip to the end here, but I think the most important thing to remember is that frost resistance is very circumstantial in Nax. Now, I have no experience in Nax. I never got to play in Nax, and it's going to be a new curveball for me. So if I misspeak here, let me know in the comment section, and I will be sure to update this in a future video. But for the most part, aside from your T2 helm, this is pretty cut and dry. I mean, Radiant Leggings and the Frost Saber gear, and, you know, minus maybe a couple pieces like the Frostbite Girl, which is a great belt that comes out of Scholomance for us. You've also got the Frost Wolf and Stormpike belts that come out of the AV rep, which is also nice. For the most part, you got your Radiant pieces and your Frost Saber pieces here that are going to give you a substantial amount of Frost resistance. Now, unfortunately, that's all they're going to give you is Frost and Shadow resistance. Not a horrible thing to do, but to simply just go through here, for example, let's see, we can get leggings, you can get a helmet, which obviously you don't really need, but it's, it's there. You've also got radiant boots, you've also got radiant gloves, and then you've got a radiant breastplate, you've got a radiant belt. So you've got a substantial amount of specific pieces that come from professions right now. You could walk into Nax very easily wearing you know, 150 or 160 frost resistance. But the, the question is, how far do you want to gimp your damage? Because that's really what you're doing is you're going to be gimping your damage quite a bit. I mean, from Bright Cloth, Radiant, and the Frost Saber pieces, you can gimp yourself pretty well. And then there's other pieces. For example, you've got some 
shaman gear here that comes out of BRD. That's a belt. You've also got another piece of gear that comes off of a random zone drop in Skolo. Wouldn't recommend farming this, but if you happen to find it on the auction house, because it is BOE, feel free to go after this because this is another good piece for us. So, and you've also got some other pieces like the Ice Mail Jerkin, which is a world BOE drop. We actually had one drop for us uh, recently, and I'm probably going to get that myself from the Guild Bank. And of course, the Dragon Stalker Breastplate is always a nice fine go to. Although the one hour cooldown is not really that big of a deal, but it does offer you some extra stamina, unlike the rest of these that are just raw resistance. So this is what I recommend you guys do. Go through here, build yourself a 60 upgrades link. And uh, by the way, check out the link down below for that. I will have one posted there. Uh, I didn't really think I didn't really think it was worthwhile to go through piece by piece by piece on 60 upgrades because unlike things like nature resistance where we basically just had one or two places to go farm which would have been marled on and others and then fr which a lot of our tier gear was built into fr this is a little bit different you've got there's no real clear-cut path to go here you've got a variety of different options here to go down whatever's easiest whatever's easiest and whatever is more easily available to you as a player i recommend you go this route now there are going to be some things in phase six and i just want to go ahead and cover that real quickly if I come down here and I apply just what was added or what's going to be added in phase six, you're going to see that we're going to have a lot of great pieces here. For example, you're going to have the IC scale Spalders. Those are going to have a substantial amount of frost resistance. You have the high C scale Coif, which also has a great deal. Basically all the IC scale set. You've got a breastplate and then of course you've got you know, bracers, you've got gauntlets, you've got leggings. So there is a substantial amount of FR gear for us as hunters that's going to come from Nax. And it's also going to be going to your warriors most likely, but they have a couple, not a lot of other options as well as your rogues. So, but for hunters, primarily you can compete over the leather and mail pieces, which is great. Warriors can compete over all three but I don't think there is a plate set at all. Yeah, there doesn't seem to be a single piece of plate gear. So it's all cloth, leather, and armor, or mail, excuse me. So you're going to have to compete. And honestly, your tanks are obviously going to get the first bit of resistance gear. DPS will probably be literally the last ones to get it. So, But just know that you have these options, the icy scale set from Nax, as well as your other pieces from Phase 5 that you currently have access to, which is a good chunk of, wow, why did that not work? Equal to or less than phase five. I don't understand why that did not work. That is very strange. That is very, very, very strange. I have no idea why that's not working all of a sudden. Let me just back up here. There we go. So you've got a laundry list of options here. But again, is there's no real clear cut answer here. If you want to go out of your way to farm things like, like you are, if you've already farmed up, you know your rep in av by all means go for this go for the mail girdle it, it's it's a fine piece if you've already had access to or you can find the icy tomb shoulders on auction house go ahead and buy them up and then if you've got your t2 helmet then there you go there's three pieces you've already got and then obviously if you've seen this if it's dropped that's a fine option too but for the most part if you're just trying to go for raw max fr or frr in this case frost resistance then your best bet's most likely just to stick with your leather workers and your blacksmithers and get things like the frost saber tunic, your radiant pieces, so on and so forth. And maybe even stick with your tailors and get your bright cloth pieces. However you feel like it's going to be best for you to be able to get your hands on this stuff, go for it. Whatever's easiestly available to you. Me personally, I'm probably just going to go with the radiant pieces and then fill in the gaps elsewhere with like such as my T2 helmet. I might run a couple of uh, Skolos just to see if I can get my hands on the frostbite girdle because any way to supplement my damage while also still getting FRR is going to be a great option to me. So there you go. And as for the phase six BIS video, it's coming. It's happening. I will work on that. I uh, had a couple of really rough days the last couple of weeks, and it, it just hasn't really been a good time for me. Uh, we got back from our family vacation, and I had a small case of depression that I had to get through. And, and there's going to be a video on that, too. But don't worry. Your boy's all right. Just just one of those uh, one of those days just didn't really mesh with me over the weekend and uh, got home, did some thinking. And, you know, I called a friend and he came over and he helped me kind of put some things in perspective and. It, it, it's one of those things that a, that a, that a stay-at-home parent always struggles with. Stay-at-home moms deal with it. Stay-at-home dads deal with it. The only difference is, is that 
stay-at-home dads don't really get to be in the stay-at-home parent club because it's so rare. It's less rare now than it has been than it was in the past, but it's still pretty rare to see. And you guys' support means so much to me. So whether it's through Patreon or Twitch subs or, you know, donations or buying merch off the merch store, anything like that, or, you know, utilizing my paid Amazon links down below, anything you can do to support the channel, God bless you. It means so much to me and uh, means so much to my, my wife. So without any further ado, guys, I love you guys as always, and I'll see you in the next video. Be sure to check out the stream tonight, twitch.tv slash saltyzera. We're going to be rating tonight. I don't know if this video is even going to be up by Wednesday, but it'll certainly be up by Thursday, and we'll be doing some B BWL or would it may be MC. I have no idea. We'll see. You'll see me tomorrow regardless. I love you guys as always. And until then, Woo Pig, Zara's out.